Hi, and welcome back to my channel at Oso Victoria, where I am a part-time reseller on Etsy, eBay, Artfire, and Poshmark. And I'm just going to go over my sales from May 1st to May 15th. So that's two weeks of sales in 2020. Um, if you've been watching any of my channels, any of my videos at all, then you know I'm quite a bit behind on doing these what sold videos um, and there's a reason for that and we all know uh, I hopefully we all know uh, why some of that is so I'm going to cover uh, the first two weeks of May and today is actually June 8th so I'm still going to go through May's what sold sales just to kind of keep things in chronological order and so after um, these first two weeks, I also have uh, the last two weeks of May sales available. And then I'll be ready to do the first week in June. So let me get to the first item on May 1st. I sold this vintage 1970s pink button front blouse. It kind of had lace. It was very pretty, very romantic. I sold it for $36 on Oso Victoria Etsy. Uh, it cost me $2. I picked it up at a yard sale here in town and I listed it March of this year, 2020. Uh, it actually it went to Spain and I believe she would have got it by now <laughs> since I shipped it out probably May 2nd. And the next item, also in my Oso Victoria shop, was this 1960s mod maxi skirt. I picked this up at an estate sale, and I listed it in March of 2018. And it cost me 66 cents, and I sold it for $18. And also on my Oso Victoria Etsy shop, I sold this a vintage red striped smock apron in excellent condition. It doesn't look like it ever been worn for $16. And I picked that up at a little thrift store in Jacksonville here. Um, Jacksonville is a little touristy little town outside of Ashland here where I live. Um, it's where the Brit Festival music festival is and they still have wooden sidewalks. So it's, it's an old, old, old Western looking town. Anyway, I picked that up at this uh, thrift store. Uh, it's the first time I going in my. It's the first time I've gone into this thrift store. It's really it was a really cute little run thrift store. I'm not sure what where the money goes to after they collect it. Cost me two dollars and fifty cents. And did I say I sold it for sixteen dollars? And I listed it in May of last year. And also on my Etsy. Also Victoria shop. I sold this 1960 70 Margolin black patent leather clutch with this red piping trim. And I picked that up in an estate sale and it cost $1.52. So it was this summer I picked it up and I listed it in July of last year. And I sold it for $28. And then over on my Art Fire shop, and I'm kind of upset with Art Fire, and I will kind of get into that in another video. <laughs> Not right now. Um, I sold these two patterns. Um, they are this uh, sleeveless dress. It's a 1950s dress pattern. And I sold that for $10. And this other 1950s dress pattern, I also sold for $10. So the total sales on that was $20. And like I said, I don't know where I picked up these two patterns from. They, they may have been in my inventory or I could have picked them up when I picked up um, seven banana boxes of patterns. And then over on Poshmark, I sold this Under Armour Heat Gear Gray Tank Top. Really good condition. I did buy this at the Goodwill here in town. I paid $3.59 and I listed it this summer. So I think I picked it up just this summer because I was just starting um, putting inventory in my Poshmark closet, although I signed up for my Poshmark closet over a year ago in January, but I didn't really start doing anything with it until this summer, and so I was kind of looking for 
items to pick up because that's about the time I started watching YouTube videos. I ran into a lady at an estate sale and she was telling me about the YouTube videos and that's where you could find out what um, brands brands are and stuff because I had no clue. <laughs> what I had not a clue what brands anybody bought and sold other than vintage. I knew vintage so anyway I sold that for nine dollars um, it I'm gonna say it was an offer to like her but I don't know it's not showing the discount on the shipping fee so I'm not sure um, I'm not sure and then on art fire I sold this McCall's vest pattern for four dollars and I actually lost money on it and I, I picked it up for 50 cents at a Salvation Army uh, in the next town over when there used to be a Salvation Army there um, because I listed it in September 2011. Um, and I evidently had two of these patterns and I sent her the wrong size. So when I found out, and I don't even know how I caught on that I had sent her the wrong size, um, some, something I just kind of looked for but I didn't while well, I was pulling the pattern so I sent her the right size told her to keep the other one and that's why I lost a dollar 83 on this because I sent her another one so she got two of the same patterns different sizes and let's see back over on my Etsy also Victoria Etsy shop I sold this vintage 80s Neiman Marcus wool vest for $20. I believe this is the second best I sold um, that I bought at this little rogue retreat shop here in Medford. I paid $2 for it um, and I bought it September of last year and I listed it February of this year. Now, like I said, sold it for $20. And over on Poshmark, I sold these Express Army Green button-up shorts, really cute. These were given to me by my daughter in the haul of clothes she went through. I sold these for $14, and this was a discount, or an offer to like her with the discounted shipping. So anyway, they went for $14. I may have had them for $18 originally. Um, so I listed these in April of this year and they sold on the 10th of May. And then I believe this is a bundle over in Poshmark. I have this uh, takeout creamy cotton knit pullover. I picked that up at the salvage yard. So I did, actually did go to the salvage, the bins back in this past summer and I found a few things and this was one of them. So I had it listed for $28, but it was a bundle, and then I gave an additional discount. So from $28 with the two, this item may have sold for something around $20. Um, so it cost me about $0.86 cents when you break it down for all the items I bought at the bins that day and the pounds and what I paid and that sort of thing. And then this next one in the bundle was this La Bianca one piece swimsuit and I had it listed for $25 and so with the bundle and the discount offer it came down to maybe $18 is what it sold for and those are just estimates on those and I had picked the swimsuit up at the Goodwill this summer like I said when I was trying to up the inventory in my Poshmark closet because at that time I really didn't have a bunch of modern day clothing to sell until my son came along gave me stuff my son-in-law gave me stuff my daughter gave me stuff so now I have more than enough stuff unless it's something really something special cool that I might find but I'm not haven't been outsourcing uh, since the stores all closed down I've just been pulling things out of my studio and so yeah so the total sale on all these things was $28 for these two items is that right? 28 and 18 Oh, $38. $38. $38 for those two items. And this uh, Zumi, also sold on Poshmark, black cotton ethnic print jacket. I did show this in a haul. It was a extra, one extra large. It was really cool. It had tags, so it was kind of new with tags. 
I sold it for $30. Um, I don't know if there was an offer or I, I don't see a discount in the shipping. So anyway, I sold it for $30. I picked it up at the Goodwill here in November of last year and I listed it December of last year. And it cost me $7.19. So this was one of the things I showed in the haul. It didn't have the price on it when I saw it on the rack. It was one of the racks they had just pulled out. And so I asked the fella and he went back to ask the lady back there and he said, well, how about $8? And I thought, okay, new with tags, extra large, awesomely cool cotton jacket. And it was, uh, I thought I would take it. And so I'm happy that it sold. It's really nice. It was a really nice jacket. I also believe I had that listed on eBay, but it sold on Poshmark. I cross list a few things, not everything. Um, I'm a very, very slow lister, but I do cross list a few things. And this next item is also in my uh, Etsy shop, uh, Oso Victoria. And this is a vintage 60s, 70s hand tooled leather handbag um, and a leaf pattern. I sold this for $54 and I paid $5 for it at the Humane Society of Central Oregon. I'm not quite sure Central Oregon has a Humane Society. I know Medford does. I don't know. Anyway, I listed it in March of this year and it sold for $54 and I paid $5 for it. I have a couple of tooled leather purses that I also eventually sold. I've got another one listed, but I'll eventually get them listed. I have a tooled leather briefcase. It's just, I have... I have a lot of inventory <laughs> that needs to be listed. Okay, and this is over in my Cameron D shop. I've had this forever. It's so beautiful. It is a vintage 40s, 50s picture and HB, HB Quint. I mean, this probably has a pronunciation with that. It's made in Belgium, hand painted, a bird design, gold trim. And I picked that up at the Goodwill here in 2012, February 2012. And I listed it in April of 2012. And it's been relisted on Etsy for 15 times. So that kind of ups the fee. But at 20 cents every four months, it's not that bad. And I sold this for $48.50. Um, so I'm happy it sold. And I did notice when I because I actually had it on display in my house and it's been it's been moved from my studio to my house and probably back to another studio it's been moved around a lot and so when I noticed when I went to go package it up there was a little tiny chip I believe on the handle on the gold trim handle and so I let her know um, I convoed her and I let her know um, if she was, that I just noticed this chip from um, moving and if she still wanted I will be more than happy to ship it out and she did she said oh yeah she still wanted it but that was a good price for that particular vase it was a beautiful vase and over back on my Oso Victoria Etsy shop I sold this 1970s at home lounge wear it's a Sears and <clears throat> somebody else was saying that a lot of lounge wares are selling and this is true I seem to sell quite a bit of these lounge cotton uh, duster dresses and this one went to Canada I paid 66 cents for it at an estate sale out in Eagle Point it was the estate sale was this old ranch barn acreage a lot of acreage maybe they had cows or something um, they had a garage they had a house they had a room just full of full of, full of stuff um, so anyway, I got it uh, for 66 cents. I sold it for $18. I listed it April of 2018. So it's been listed for two years. Uh, but it sold. And and that's why that was, uh, oh, not on that, it was something else. I was thinking about the 15 times it was that base. And back over in my art fire shop, I sold this 1950s uh, dress pattern for $26. Um, don't know where I picked it up. I listed it in May of 2014. Um, 
anyway got 20 26 dollars for this dress pattern and how i determine the cost of a pattern i do comps obviously um there is uh wiki vintage sewing patterns so you could list your patterns on wiki vintage sewing patterns um, and they have to be i believe on wiki they have to be wiki w-i-k-i they have to be um it's like wiki leaks but that's something different anyway um they have to be 25 years 25 year old 25 years old to be considered vintage on that site and so people that sell patterns pretty much list them there so um, they have thousands and thousands and thousands of patterns there and that's where I list them and so I kind of look to see and I've uh, put a bunch of as I was listing all my patterns I have listed a bunch of new patterns that they haven't already had on their page and so then I have to do the photos and the descriptions and I put all that in there if somebody already has that pattern up there with the description then all you have to do is add your link that will link back to your web page that you're selling it so which is art fire for me and then, and then when it sells I'll go in and I'll take it off that so Otherwise, the uh, moderators of that website will take it off, but I usually take it off anyway. Uh, it doesn't cost anything to list on there. I don't know if folks actually find my patterns through that website or they find it through Google search. I'm not sure where, or Pinterest, I'm not sure where they have actually find my patterns to purchase them. Artfire doesn't actually tell me that sort of stuff. So... Anyway, that's how I de kind of determine the cost. I do a Google search and then if it's kind of a dress pattern that looks kind of rare, then it ups the cost. It has a lot of detail to it. If it's a pattern that can't easily be drafted on its own, but has all these little external details or the designer, and then that ups the cost of a pattern also. Okay, and back over in my Cameron D shop, Etsy shop, I sold this set of uh, Plastic L plaques from 1970s. I've had these for quite a while. I picked them up at the Goodwill here in Ashland. Um, so I paid $5.98, and I think that's for the two of them because they were each priced separately. So the price with my senior discount, you throw that in, came to $5.98. Oh, yeah, well, I had originally listed these on my Etsy shop November 19th of 2010. So they've been listed almost 10 years. Um, I didn't, I don't recall, I relisted them. Often there'd be maybe a year or two, I'd just let them sit in, in my inventory, but not relisting them so they'd be de deactivated. And then I'd go in and I go, oh, I'm going to give these another try. And so I would list them again and see if they sold. So somewhere in all that whole process, I listed them, them again. And so I'm showing I listed them actually 17 times, give or take a few times. So for those 17 times, that 10 years of relisting, it cost me $3.40 total in listing fees. And anyway, I sold these for $18. They're home co plastics, wall decor. And I do remember when I first started Etsy, owls, owl, anything to do with owls and owl figurines. I think I was hitting the tail end of the popularity of the owl craze. And then we got into the fox craze. Then we got to the llama craze. And now I don't know if we're in the tiger craze because of that show. I have no idea. <laughs> But I just know certain things become more popular, trendy, I guess, at some point. So yeah, so I sold those for $18. Oh, so there was fabric I sold on Artfire. So, and I hadn't sold fabric for years on Artfire, even though I have, I have a little bit listed. I don't have a lot listed. I have tons of fabric to list, um, but I'm, when I list, I list other things. And I guess you could only list so many things in a day. And I don't <laughs> do that. So anyway, on my Art Fire shop, I sold these two uh, pieces of fabric. One of them, uh, I think the pink floral polished cotton, the 1970s ones, I believe. I sold that for $18. I think there was at least three yards of that. And then the seersucker 
Um, there was one and a third yard of the seersucker and I only sold that for $5. And so I <laughs> realized I'm selling my fabric pretty cheap, but then of course I listed this 10 years ago. I listed the one for $18 10 years ago and the seersucker I listed in 225 of 20 of 1913. 2013. So that was seven years ago. And I don't know where I got the pink polish carton, <clears throat> but the other one I got at the Senior Center in Medford. The Senior Center's little thrift store is a great little thrift store to go to. Um, if you have a Senior Center in your town and they have a thrift store, I don't know if they'd be open now because of what's going on, but um, definitely check them out. They, you get some really cool vintage clothes there. I did get a, a beautiful I Magnum dress. It wasn't vintage, um, but I think I paid, I may have paid $7. And to me back then, that was a lot of money to pay for a dress, but it was so beautiful, I Magnum dress. And a woman back east actually bought it and wore it to the Kentucky Derby and sent me a picture. So I was really pleased with that. So anyway, the two, one was 18, one was five. So a total of $23 on these two um, fabric lots. And I have a lot of children's fabric too. That seems to sell really good. <laughs> uh, but I should up the price of my fabric by the yard because it's been a long time. And the last thing I sold in those two weeks was this vintage 1960 Hawaiian dress, casual air cotton. I don't know where I got it. Um, I don't know if I got it at the bins. I don't know if I got it at a yard sale. I don't know if I got it at an estate sale. It wasn't listed in my inventory. Um, I listed it in October 2018. And it sold on May 14th, 2020. It sold for $62. So that was a good sale. And it was a really pretty maxi Hawaiian dress. And Hawaiian dresses are another dress that seems to sell. Vintage Hawaiian dresses are another uh, type of dress that seems to sell very well for me. So that is it for the first two weeks of May of what I sold in... Um, Etsy, Poshmark, and Art Fire. Uh, so I will be doing the last two weeks of May and be shooting another video. And once I get this one up and loaded down onto YouTube, I will do the other one. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or any comments, I really appreciate comments down below. And uh, yeah, hit the subscribe. That helps, helps me feel like people are interested in what the heck I'm showing. I do have a playlist. If you do click onto my channel, um, you could see in the playlist, I'll have what sold in one and hauls in another, uh, just things I'm doing around town in Southern Oregon. Anyway, so thank you once again, hit the subscribe and like. Okay, until next video, bye.